I want to go to Joe Connor in New Jersey, the great WABC, because his father was murdered by these FALN terrorists, who uh, Gutierrez, among others, was pushing to get pardons. Isn't that correct, Joe? Yes, that's absolutely right, Mark. In 1999, Gutierrez and others, like you mentioned, Nita uh, Velasquez and Jose Serrano uh, and a whole bunch of them, pushed for their clemency to these terrorists who weren't even looking for it. And tell everybody who your father was. My father was Frank Connor. He was a 33-year-old native New Yorker who was eating lunch when the FALN blew up Francis Tavern which is where George Washington bid farewell to his officers at the end of the Revolutionary War. The FALN was a Marxist organization. They were funded by Cuba. As a matter of fact, their, uh, their main bomb builder is in Cuba now, uh, under asylum from Castro. And uh, when Hillary Clinton, they were arrested in the early 80s. Um, my father was killed in 1975 when I was nine, and my brother was 11. And I don't hear Mr. Gutierrez uh, talking about the tragedy of two little boys losing their father. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's not been mentioned. But um, these guys were arrested and put in prison in the early 80s, sentenced to long terms uh, from 55 to 90 years. But when Hillary was running for, for, uh, for senator from New York, uh, and Eric Holder was deputy attorney general, he came up with the idea to offer them clemency to try to ingratiate uh, Hillary with the Latino community in New York, where she really had no connection. So uh, very quickly, uh, and before we were notified, which was, a, which was a violation of the Victims' Rights and Restitutions Act, uh, these guys were offered clemency. They didn't accept it. They took 30 days to decide to accept it. And at the end of it, uh, one of them, Oscar Lopez Rivera, remained in prison. He turned down the clemency. And now Gutierrez and some of the other leftists are looking to get him second clemency. And I believe that Obama will offer that before he leaves office. And, and I, I will mention that three years ago, uh, <clears throat> we went out to the federal prison in Terre Haute and kept uh, Rivera in jail. But now there's another... There's another push for his release, and this uh, Gutierrez is, is is an abominable. Uh, it's hard to imagine that he <laughs> that he's a congressman, and someone like you or I aren't. Um, he represents people, but he his his goal is uh, to take down this country, and he's always been like that. He was the political uh, wing of the FALN terrorists. Um, so. We're talking about you're saying you're saying in, in essence he is that he was the mouthpiece. Yes, yeah. Um, there's mm. several of them. Um, Jose Jose Lopez, Oscar Lopez, who's still in jail. His brother is also one of the mouthpieces, uh, and he happens to be a friend of uh, President Obama. And the FBI agents who accompanied me to Terre Haute talked about that. Um, mm -hmm. It's I mean, not, uh, Chicago. And Serrano, is, Serrano uh, is is a, is a hardcore radical leftist. Yes, and in New York now we have uh, this Melissa Mark Viverito, who's second to our Marxist mayor De Blasio, uh, and she is has been pushing for their release too. Mark, this stuff runs so deep, um, and it, and it's not just the politicians; it's the lawyers; it's this uh, this. Uh, Lynn Stewart, who has represented the terrorists right. of not only the FALN, but of uh, the Islamic, the uh, Blind Sheik. That's right. uh, they're all connected. And uh, as you said before, I was listening, you said uh, that the people who were trying to damage or destroy our country in the 60s and 70s through bombings are now running the country. And that's exactly true. And I've written about it in Red State and others, where they've... They realized they couldn't take us down through bombings, so they've moved to academia, they, to media, to uh, you know, to to, to uh, TV, to uh, to education. You see them all, Bill Ayers and Bernadine Dorn being professors, um, and and uh, Kathy Bodine. Um, all these groups are connected, and our our Mr. Gutierrez has been the political wing across the board for all these. For all these, uh, this amount all of right, Joe. Joe, uh, appreciate your call, man. God bless you. Yep. 
This Gutierrez and uh, some of the others are way, way out there, folks. This is why I wanted you to know who he is. And the idea that Paul Ryan is his pal and that Eric Cantor is his pal. Uh, what have happened to these Republicans? This guy wouldn't be my pal. It's amazing, isn't it? 